This is a tutorial on how to build a replacement jar with the pump kit Acton vacuum pump CP7830. I don't know who the hell designed this, but this is a shitty adapter kit. The hoses are supposed to go into here. One goes down there with the tube. And then the other one goes to the vacuum pump next to there with the hose and then you're supposed to pump this and suck the brake fluid out. Problem is this leaks and has no sealant or anything or any seal nothing with it so instead of trying to piss with that and this tube liquid forget that we're gonna build ourselves a proper vacuum airtight seal jar so get yourself one cannon jar Remove the lid here. There's the seal that's going to hold it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I had to buy a package of 12 of these. Shelf drill bits, Teflon tape, two wrenches. You're going to get one of these. You can go down the harvester and, and fit these together. But the idea is you want these washers here. You want to get one of each size. It's important that they fit flush on the rim of the jar. So when you drill the holes, they will sit there flush. So, okay, so this uh, washer will fit perfect over that fit in, and it'll be squished between these two washers. And this is the bottom part. This bottom part will let's see here. We'll sit like that. And that one there will be on top and the two washers. Same as this idea with this little thing here. So you're recreating this and in, in that. And this also holds more volume. So when you're draining your brakes you build a whole more fluid. So, put that back on there. You're going to need the proper drill bits for the dimensions of the fit-ins. So what I did was I got one fit-in like this, one fit-in like this, two washers and a rubber washer, a fit-in like this, which is the same dimensions as the fit-in on there, they all match, two regular metal washers, they could fit through the holes so you got something you can bolt down because you can't just drill right through here and bolt it right into here You'll, the metal won't hold so you need to put a washer so you need to put a washer there just like that and another one on top just like that put your fit in through the hole and then tie this down on the other side. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done putting together. Okay, so that's what it looks like together. And then you're going to take that. You're going to place the other washer on top. And then this fit in here. And it's going to go on top. And then you're going to screw it in. Just like that. And then you're going to put the Teflon tape in the threads so no air leaks out. And it's going to fit like that between the two washers. The rubber washer is going to be on the outside so no brake fluid gets onto the rubber so it deteriorates. And then other metal washer is going to be on the inside, pushing down on here. It's just going to squeeze it together with the two wrenches. So, we're going to do that. What you want to do is you want to do this. Put the lid on here. You want to take your fit in apart here. Put your washer on there. Put your other washer on there. Take your drill bit. Drill a hole there. And take your other drill bit for this size. Drill a hole there. And put the two together. Tighten it up with a wrench. Just enough tight so that it makes a seal. 
And then you're going to connect this gun. You're going to connect it to this side in here, the hose. Because this barb is going to stick down through the jar. And the other, and this is going to stick up like this, I mean. And you're going to connect your hose from here to here. And the other one, it's going to stick in like that. And it's going to have this one here. It's going to go down underneath like that. And then there's going to be a hose, which came with the kit. And that's going to go down into the jar, down to the bottom. And as long as this lid's tight, this will continue to hold the seal without any having to pump this thing a thousand times to get the job done. And it'll be a lot quicker. And then you can reuse this whenever you want. It makes bleeding the brakes easier. So I'm going to put it together and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here's the finished product. I end up using some gasket, gasket sealer, silicone. I put it between the washer and the first washer and, and the same on the other side. That way, it, if you look closely, you can see it all in there. I let it sit five minutes, ten minutes, and then I uh, put it together. And if you look at the bottom of the jar, you can see it there. Let me unscrew this and I'll be right back. Okay, it's unscrewed. You notice the gasket sealer is coming through the holes. Just enough to fill it so it doesn't leak any air out. And there you go. So there you go. There's a... And this, the seal around the cannon jar will automatically seal. So let's put it together. Put the lid on. Okay, and let's test it out. Put my finger on the hole there. And that is airtight. That is not moving. And I got I can put it up to 20, and that's where you're supposed to do it when you do your brakes, no higher. And there you go, there's your sealed brake reservoir capture jar for this kit here. So just an idea. I saw this on the internet, some other person did the similar thing, but this is the easiest way to lead your brakes with a jar like this instead of using that hunk of junk. Anyway, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like I say, all these adapters here, they're all different sizes, so you're going to have to kind of like go to the hardware store, fit them together yourselves. Get yourself a cannon jar. There was my first attempt. It didn't work. So I use another lid. And I got it working. So, and let's go over here, and it's still holding the pressure. Zero leaks. I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye. Okay, so this is the test uh, before I end the video. I'm going to add this to the video. There's a jar of water, which would represent the bike fluid. And there's the empty jar. There's the hose. The adapter goes to the machine, and the hose goes to the car. Let's try this out and see what happens. working easy. Yeah, you easily be able to bleed the brakes with like minimal or no effort at all. It's just got to be careful that the fluid level doesn't get too high so that the fluid 
gets sucked into this line and into your pump because this has got to remain dry. So there you go. There's a bleeder for you. I hope you enjoy the video.